So today we face our greatest challenge with this car, which is replacing the thermostat. I've got a full set in here with the um, all the link pipes and the sensors and all that stuff. Don't want to hammer it though, do we? So yeah, we're going to replace it with this strengthened plastic one, I guess. So let's get to it. First thing to do is take this engine cover off and then we'll actually be able to see what we're dealing with. There we can see the middle of the V. And this is obviously where all of our water has been going. Yeah, that thermostat's not looking too good. As you can see there in the middle, it looks like that's cracked there, where the middle... So at this point now, we need to pause the video and watch it, and then remove throttle cables out of the way. Simply just unclutch from there and then comes out. Then that breather pipe is also unclipped. So we're pretty much, I'm not sure if I'm gonna remove the airbox. I think I have to. I think it's just that pipe in the middle that's cracked, but we'll check the condition of the thermostat and all. Yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. We'll see if it's, if it's any good. So we need to take this off. We need to take the connectors with the VIS motor off as well. And all these other connectors to the throttle body. So yes. And then we can move all this one piece out of the way. To unplug all this. All the connectors to this vis motor i'm just not sure how to get these breather hoses out so i'm gonna have to google that because i don't want to break it get out there we go we'll just remove this for now without dealing with all that so that is all free now it's one less connector down here there we go this, this is probably one on the other side to be fair Oh no, there's another in there. Never mind, we need to move this out of the way. So this has been replaced apparently according to that Tipex. Okay, now that we've got that center piece removed, we now need to remove these four bolts here and then apparently there's some stuff at the back. But I'll figure that out. So let's do that. So for the first time, we can see these stupid green O-rings that hold everything in place so bloody well. I did it with this by basically running it and then using a, I know you shouldn't, but there's, there was already marks on here. I used this spanner here to give me a bit more leverage because this and all the other ones were bending. So whoever designed these, these have done a very good job. But crikey, this has been difficult. My arm is killing me. Oh, so let's hopefully get this off. She is, she is off. Pro tip, don't forget about this, this, and there's one on the side somewhere there. So now we've got that off, thank God, we can focus on the rest of it. Look at that. Cool. And I'm laying on the floor, it's a bit of crap, but who cares? Now we need to focus on this, so we need to get these injectors out, and then get the bolts out for the actual manifolds. And then we should be able to take them off. These gloves give me monkey strength. So monkey brain. There we go. Right. So I've got all six of them clips out. And we just need to then pop the rail off of the top.
So I've gone a bit bored now, so I'm going to try the keyhole method because I do not feel like I'm going to be able to get that off with the crappy tools I have. So I need to get rid of these clips. Well, unclip these clips to get the, all the pipes off. And then I should be able to, in theory, feed the other one through there and do it from the top. I didn't think there was going to be any water in there. <laughs> right. Here we are, we have the offending thermostat. And we'll check the pipes and stuff, but I can't imagine they're too far off and we'll see what we can do. But yeah this is as far as we are with the keyhole method we just need to i just need to find a way on how to prop these all up really because it's kind of in my way and it's in focus yeah bit of coolant loss but it's only water anyway it make me sound incredibly stupid but you can you see that magic thing there that is like straight out of area 51. i did not know they did this oh i did not know i did that that is crazy so i need to take that bolt out and then hopefully the whole thermostat can come free so there we go, we've pulled that out of the way, we've taken this T piece out that links both the banks, the breather, and then we need to take this out. So first comes this, I know this is a bit of a sink because it's metal and plastic, but not too bothered. There we go. So right, why don't I do that at the start? As you can see there's a bit of gunk on that and it's the main the main agent of our destruction the boy himself so it is the thermostat that's leaked so basically as you can see around here that's where the plastic has sort of come undone from the middle oh god a bit of crap in there yep there you go very nice so now i've got a brand new one to fit oh god i'm so close. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit in the middle. Wow, this keyhole method's amazing. This is utterly gross. We've also got this to get rid of. Looking down here, you can see the level of devastation. So whether or not I can get it back in is the whole trip. I've cleaned it up a little bit, just needs a bit more cleaning up and then we're gonna put it all back together. So we've got our new pieces, this one. The new thermostat. Oh yeah, they do make a shaky noise. Then this one, which is absolutely mangled. So, yeah. So we're in somewhere. I don't mind just pouring a bit of water in it, seeing if it definitely is coming out, but you see it's actually cracked there as well. If we focus on it, there is cracked, and all around here it's been leaking out. So, wow. Terrible. This pipe, it looks alright actually. That looks fine to me. Imagine if I just put it back in, how cheap would that be? I'll sell this on eBay for, t for £2. Very good. So we're gonna fit our new boy in. Yeah, look at the look at the difference. Oh, we're gonna get a thumbnail out of this actually. I'll get a thumbnail out of it. Goes in. Now this second piece. That goes in. We need to smack it down a bit there so it actually fits. Oh god, this is a bit of a fart in it. Oh no, I've knocked the camera. Put you there to see if you can see the better. Can you see any better? Oh god. Uh, um sorry, we'll just keep you there because that is the best way to do it. Right, we'll put that in there. And then we have to line this bottom bit up. Push that into the block. Well, attempt to, maybe we'll just about it. There we go. 
Get in. God, this is such a fast. I'm moving every minute of it. Oh, hold on. I've gone and been an idiot. I put the wrong. I put the wrong thing in. XD. So numb nuts at a clock. Put the wrong bloody one in. Right. Side goes in there. This side goes in here. That's why it wasn't sealing before. Just me being stupid. Push that in. Is it there? Or is it the other side? Hold on. I might be being a bit of an idiot here. There we go, we've done that. Our new thermostat is in there. As you can see. There we go, new thermostat. All the thermostats sat there, so now we just need to put the the um, other pipe in, the weird curved one, not that one, the new one. And we're done. We've got to stick it back together, obviously. Cool. Right. I've forgotten which way it goes in now. This way. I really wish I had someone else here to help me film because I would love to cover the top end of the block. Well, the, the engine, should I say. What you do on the top end of it. I think that would be quite beneficial. Very underwhelming to do that, but very overwhelming to do. We've got our thermostat back in, the centre pipe and the other pipe for the bank. The screw's done in nicely, or bolt. And then we've got our weird temperature sensor thing as well, which has been installed. So, yes, this is a start motor. Crazy. So I'm basically just going to clean all this up and put it all back together so you'll join me when it's actually back together. If I can figure out what, <laughs> where everything goes. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right, back in a minute. So there we are. Almost reassembled. Just need to put everything back on. Throw our cables back in. Just needs to be straightened out. All this stuff's back in. We just need to sort it the upper plastic to the aluminium needs to be put back on properly and then we just need to dick about with everything else and make it all fit back together so we'll try starting it in a minute and hopefully it'll start right the moment of truth 